The USD football team will return to the field for the first time in nearly 15 months when they host Western Illinois in their season opener on February 19th. The Coyotes have plenty returning from 2019, but still have one big question mark remaining before their game with the Leathernecks. For the first time since Chris Strebler's first season, there's an open competition for the Coyotes' starting quarterback job. Head coach Bob Nielsen hopes to name his QB by this week's end. I'll put those guys into uh, game-like situations and um, see how they respond. Uh, not only how they respond, but how the team responds to them, which is a big part of playing quarterback. Whoever does win the job will have the luxury of having every other starter on offense back from 2019. The fact that we've got an experienced offensive line, uh, we've got great leadership in our perimeter positions, uh, it's going to make the transition for uh, a new quarterback uh, much easier. With five quarterbacks competing for the spot, Building chemistry with each has been a point of emphasis for the receiving core. Anytime you work with a quarterback, give it your all. Try to make sure you guys get or have a chance to get in rhythm with each other because they may be the, be the guy. Darren Greenfield and Cameron Klein are gone from the defense, but as USD enters year two under coordinator Travis Johansson, Nielsen says there's a night and day difference in their understanding of the scheme. They're executing at a much higher level, uh, executing at a much higher speed. The Coyotes closed the 2019 season with their first win over rival SDSU at the Division I level. Compete with the team that, that's up there on the national level and uh, just shows you what you're capable of. And, you know, it kind of gives you that marking stick. It says, hey, uh, we can be here. And are looking forward to building on that next Friday. It's been about 15 months. Um, and being away from the game makes you realize how much you really, really love the game. USD and Western Illinois are set to cross pass on Friday, February 19th at 6 o'clock. It will be the first Coyote game played in the newly renovated Dakota Dome.